Welcome to Atma the Infinite Art and today we are learning the crop tool in Photoshop and this is part 1. We have this window image in the window layer which we want to crop. And the crop tool is located here. Its shortcut is C. As soon as you click the crop tool you have the crop box around the image and when you click inside the image you have the crop creed. And you'll see the window layer has changed to crop preview temporarily. If you want to deselect the crop, click away from the canvas. Instead of clicking on the image, you can draw and drag your own crop area. To cancel the crop, you can click this icon and to confirm the crop, you can click this check mark. You can have your own freeform crop where you can drag your shapes any way you like. Or you can hold shift to constrain the crop in proportion. Dragging the crop beyond the image increases the canvas. So this is the canvas now. Let me just confirm that for you to see. If you think you want to move the crop by dragging it, it will actually move the image. So keep that in mind. You can also rotate the crop at the corners. This time too, you can see that instead of the crop tree rotating, the image has actually rotated. This crop area is essentially the new canvas that you're gonna see. You can always have your crop in certain ratios. Let's say I want the width to be one and height to be four. So no matter how you drag your crop, it will always be in that ratio. Also, if you enter some values here, you can interchange them by hitting the swap icon. To clear the input boxes, hit the clear button. There is a preset that you might need for print. It is width, height and resolution. Let's say you want to crop a part of the image and want to print that on a page which has a width of 8 inches and a height of 16 inches and you want to print that at a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. No matter how small or big the cropped creed may look, it will always print the cropped image with a dimension of 8 inches by 16 inches and a resolution of 300 pixels per inch in the page. If you click this icon, it will discard the crop as well as clear up all the inputs. The original ratio crops in the ratio of the original image. The crop holds the proportion even if it drag by the sides or the corners. Try out all the other options like the 1 is to 1 square ratio and try to play around with them. And these options as well. Also try these width, height and resolution presets which are here by default. For the next option I'm using a different example. I have two images. This is the first image and this is the second image. The two images have different aspect ratio, resolution and size. Suppose you want to crop this second image with the aspect ratio, size and resolution of the first image. For that you'll have to be on the tab of the first image, then go to the options and choose front image. This will analyze and record the width, height and resolution of the first image. And then when we go to the second image, click on it and then confirm the crop. The image will have the same aspect ratio, size and resolution as the first image. So this is the first image, the second image. You can also save your own crop presets. For that you type in your own aspect ratio in the width and the height boxes. Head on to the drop down and then choose new crop preset. 
this dialog box will pop up. As you can see it has already taken up the ratio from the input boxes and then if you hit OK it will create a new preset of 3 is to 8. You can find your preset here under the drop down. You can always go to some other options and come back to your own preset later. You can also delete it by going to the drop down and then delete crop preset. This dialog box will appear. From the drop down select the preset you want to delete and then hit delete. Photoshop will want to confirm if you really want to delete the preset so click on yes. Now you will not find your preset under the drop down. And this concludes the tutorial crop tool in Photoshop part 1. See you in my next videos. Bye.